Welcome everyone, this is the Yo Bro Gaming Review, and I'm Zach. I'm Wayne. And this is our review for Ride Along 2. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Uh, we're not going to do any spoilers, let's put that up front. But honestly, I don't think there's a lot to spoil in this movie. No. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell you which we liked, and we're going to tell you which we didn't like. Let's start with the obvious, what we did like. Wayne, let's start with you. What did you like? Um... I did like, uh, I know this is going to be a spoiler, but, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it from the trailer, uh, Ice Cube using, uh, Kevin Hart as a bulletproof shield. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, anything else that you liked? <laughs> um, uh, no, that was just about it. That was the only thing that, the only thing laughable that I thought was funny. I'll say uh, the part where he comes in and the, I think it was like a, an Impala or an El Camino. Yeah, it was an El Camino. And he comes in and it's on the hydraulics and he's just messing around and he's just like, I'm here. And I'm like, that's funny. But that's also in the trailer. So it's like yeah. what you saw in the trailer was really the funniest part. I mean, I'm going to be honest. All right, this is Kevin Hart and Ice Cube in the sequel, which I liked the first movie. It, yeah, it definitely like got two thumbs up from me. But in this one, I'm guessing Kevin Hart is a cop now. And... He's wanting to make detective, so Ice Cube's boss is like, hey, there's this guy, uh, name's Forgettable, the bad guy, I'm just gonna call him back, his name was Forgettable, yeah. um, and Laughable. He's running drugs out of Miami into Atlanta, so they get sent there to figure it out, and that's basically what the whole movie is. The jokes didn't hit for me, mm -hmm. um, their chemistry seemed off in this movie. Just like in the first one. I almost found... Well, I thought they were good in the first one. It's just, like, Kevin Hart seemed obnoxious to me in this movie. Like, I understand he's short, but they, like, tried to play that too much to me. And Ice Cube... Just, no. Go go make another Are We There Yet movie. Or something. Honestly. There's already been two of those. I don't think we need a third one. That's for sure. But... I mean, there's not a lot to say. Uh, it just... It wasn't the worst movie ever. I just didn't... It, I it, I didn't feel the movie. Yeah. Alright, so any last thoughts from you? Seeing this, I felt like they were trying to do a... Uh, uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street. Pretty much they're doing the same thing, but just in a different location. Yeah, I can see that. I can see where you get that vibe. I think they, I mean, let's face it, sequels to comedies usually don't do very well. This one was one of those, and it, it was, it's sad, because I wanted to go into this movie because I did like the first one, and I wanted to like this one. That is my final thought on this. So, this is going to be our ratings. Wayne, what is your your final rating of this scale 1 to 10? Um, we're going to give it a 5.5. Wow, that's a lot better than I, I expected. Um, my rating is it's it's lower. I'm gonna give it a 2.2, and that 2.2 is because it's a sequel. Mm -hmm. That's honestly the only reason I did it. So this was our review of Ride Along 2. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, I'm Zach. I'm Wayne. And you can subscribe to our channel at. Yo Bro Gaming and Reviews on YouTube.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at Zach2002. Subscribe to his PlayStation Network at uh, Punisher Slayer19. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Peace. Break it down. That was more entertaining than the movie. <laughs>